It is a support task at then. I wonder if if one two three are running a safe lane trial in with Danzel, Nyx, and PL. PL though on this lane, Bloodseeker up at top. It's not going to be great for him. You know, Darks here has always been the Coming hero. Into mid. Lane. They want to go on Yamate. Snowball in. Perfect dodge there from Cuckoo. Blinked himself away from the split earth that was coming out from Yamate. And then on the bottom lane, well, the charge in. Enough until you have a level 3 Darks here. Uh, they're and going again. back in towards middle lane again. So again, same initiation. This time though, the stun from Yamate is going to connect into the double stun with the lightning. Vice is actually dead to the tower attacks. Well, there's your level 3 over on the Nyx Assassin. Burns out the Queen of Pain, but she's got a bottle on her way to the, to the event. If it does, I'd be massively surprised. Yamate is in so much trouble. Oh, cuckoo! Oh, he's gonna get stunned up as well with the heal. The heal was just out of range, but they've actually got the surge over on Minerva. Lining from the track, he blew the Sonic Wave. Did he miss ulti? He missed the Sonic Wave on Yamate. Oh. Yes, top two net worths belong to Mineski, so they still have the control in this game. But moments like that's gonna get breathing room, and now the Rob's running assassins by Carapace, tries to defy himself some time, turns for the sun over on the Bloodseeker, the Rob's just still ripping him apart, and he'll actually kill himself in the... He actually could have stopped walking once he hit, just finding whatever opening she possibly can. And when there is a big one, relocate down. Again, we're gonna go with a doppelganger, and he actually, again! You've done this now three times in a row with a double stun from 343! This is horrible from Mineski! The land is one second off cooldown, and goodbye to your Brizzle back. He was your bread and butter. All you had to do was be stable in the lanes, but they're forcing the issue. Vash is running through a double stack, so he even took a little bit too much damage. The courier the courier, I know what it's trying to do baiting. down here. Like, it's, it's watching him and trying to keep him like, okay, one more attack would be it. Snowball's in, and Vash, well, there's your lightning flow back back in, oh. but the Dazzle takes the Kel. Maneski just got taken to school and spanked with a roller. Falling for it every single time. Hilarious thing is, though, Ben went next level on this one, and goodbye Jules on the top lane. The okay. track actually got a lightning into a stun, and now it's going to fall by killing up Vash. Well, well, He's got more than enough mana for it. Vash runs around the tree line. And in fact, he just turns on the pulse and over. A double kill for Yamate. Like, this box came with a warning on it. Don't give Yamate a track. That was that. TP out the perfect time. And now they attack into the T1 tower in the mid. But up on top lane, Nyx Assassin with the Vendetta into a stun. Follow up with a track stun. It's just simple as. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can be that. Uh. <laughs> T1 tower in the middle lane, Mineski, the group up to take it out. Snowball down now, 3-4-3, three, a three. little bit of trouble, but they turn for the stun. With it back in the iron shell damage, Vash is burning so quickly, especially when you had a dazzle to get that shadow wave heal straight behind it. But Kang too far up! Minerva was trying to, like, like he was hoping the Darkseer would turn around. Looks like uh, Yamate, that she TP back to base and took rupture topping him. They have to stop Yamate. Uh, if, if Yamate keeps doing what he's doing, like, he's gonna walk over this game. Now, the stun, Vash, well, there's a follow-up with the heal and the track lightning, Pulse Nova. So stupid. <laughs> I mean, classy. She, she desperately needs her Agon himself, so that's why she's farming so aggressively. Top lane, Rupture, Darkseer, dead. Mech Charge can go, and, uh, well, he's gonna back him, trying to keep him away. The Iron Shield damage is still burning through a little bit, but he can't survive through that, but in comes Yamate. In from behind, can turn on the Pulse Nova. And you do have a Shallow Grave, can't get it off in time. So the Blood Seeker found a double kill. So with the Lightning, the Blood Ride, the Pulse Nova is still going to take care of Vash. And now, Jules, how much have you got? Latrak is currently silenced up, and then a relocate out to safety. And the the Lance. Lance is still following, though. <laughs> you know, Wait, you know is, me? It gonna, is it going to get there in time for the relocate back? I don't know. Radiant's how long have they got? No, I think they're coming attack. back. Yep, they're coming back. Relocate back in. The stun into a Sonic Wave! That's a big one! That's a huge one. They're able to find that extra cash from killing off a very big Latrak. But now, Ben turns, makes as many copies of himself as possible. And again, they're chasing after the wrong one. Cuckoo's gonna find the right one, but at the same time, Vendetta into the double stun, finding out Wisp as well. The Shadow Grave keeps the success alive. And this does mean the Jewels has a very big buff up because they're all just so damn low. But Geo's getting picked off by the PL. They're back up the tower. Yamate's gonna miss the stun. And Jewels running so quickly. He's got the Shadow Amulet, and there's no stun on there, there. It is actually there from the Nyx Assassin. And now they can see him. There's your extra stun. Or actually, it's gonna be a PL to get the attack in. A triple kill for the Phantom Lancer. And that Diffusal Blade just got a massive injection. <laughs> it, it acts differently though. Yeah, I get what you mean. Oh. Yamatan, TP out. Not in time. 
Yeah, but it's it's all about having the life that you can just sustain and survive. And finding op options like this. The stun hits Jules perfectly. Vendetta follow up some pulse no, but they burn through the Aegis Immortal. Now they need another stun. They don't have one available. So they surround him on all sides. Diffuse the blade burn and that'll do the job. Jules will drop. They take out the Aegis and they take out the hero. Gem. Nice little pickup, but also slows down the BKB from the from the Bloodseeker. So now the time. <laughs> oh, no, did he blink forward again? Yeah. <laughs> top survive up against a weave like what Dazzle's got, and this top tower is now just like one attack catapult. Oh my God! He actually jumped into this. The Yule Scepter attack. The follow up from the Nyx Assassin. The Pulse Nova. The Jewels gets done. They relocate it, and they fact snowball after Yamate. The Spire Carabas is a little bit late, but there's your BKB coming out from the Bristle Pack. But who's he going on? The PL, he's got Doppelganger available. The Sonic Wave airball out. You might have quick TP out of it. will be there for a pen. He's even out to safety. And well, the Shrikers mopped them up. They can try and turn this one if they want to. There are a lot of cool spray stacks here. So the stack up on Kank, we can't surge away in time, which you cannot. They try to push him out of there, but it wasn't going to work. And Bristle Pack wants to go even deeper after Minerva. And he does no TP scroll, so yeah, just let it go. Yamas said, just accept the fact that that Dazzle is dead. But you took a Bloodseeker, you took a Tusk, you took a Tier 2 tower. You should be very happy with everything. And died. Looks for the stun. Um, well, there's your stun. It's over on the Tusk card. Take out your stunner. Take out your controller. And he's so. Oh no, the relocate safe. Failed. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, it's not relocate safe. He's not close enough. It's actually going to be a snowball down. <laughs> That's what I mean, he snowballed when the Wisp was trying to relocate save at exactly the same time. Oh, they can see it. And now they know the Wisp is coming back! Yup, the Lance is actually going to follow him up too, and so is Ben with that Phantom Rush. The Fuser Blade, the Crimson Guard does trigger, trying to keep him up for now. While uh, Cuckoo, he topped his ulti up here, but he doesn't know where thrown, but throws it over, but it's all really too late. The PL's done the damage he was looking for. Not to mention this PL's walking around now with a Reaver, so a heart built coming in from the PL. You said no stunts. What if they just survive? Oh, we should also be very careful about this. Yamate with a Yul Scepter can easily counter initiate. Jules? Where's that gem? Well, the gem's over on the Nyx Assassin, so they'll see him walk him up in a moment. They're stunned perfect on the Queen of Pain. They need more damage. She blinks away in time on the BKB from the Bristle Pack. They start the stack up. Minerva, he's the one that's going to go down. Four staff down. They snowball after Kang, but they're so fast. The snowball won't be able to reach, and I'm still looking it's right the behind PL. the lines. Yep, there's 343 three, going in after the Queen of Pain. Oh, the Lancers just keep going through with a perfect stun over on Vosh. But he just can't find Anthony. Even 343 with the Spy Carapus stunning up over on the full effect. They'll tether together. But the fire splitting into multiple areas again. Another Yule Scepter into the stun and dual duels. Well, Lightning as well as Pulse Nova take care of this. And I think this is over. I, I really think it's over. They're getting mopped up everywhere on the map. You haven't even taken down a Rax, but there's just no way you can repel health and firepower and stability. Like, what 1, 2, 3 have? Maneski just don't have the skills to pay the bills. Good laning stage. Again, for Maneski, everything looked pretty good. But this Bloodseeker BKB. Jules may, may have it now. Well, and uh, there's Ben running away, but he can't get the rupture over on him. He has to go to Dazzle sitting right behind him. But it's Latrak. Okay. Blink in aggressively from Cuckoo. They jump in for the stun, and the man's been burned away so quickly. They're back into a big wall. There is no save to be had. It's just by the extra time to regenerate up. Speaking of that, Latrak, is he ever going to come in? Yep, now here comes the BTs in. They didn't bait out the BKB, but Jules so low! Into another sunny still! Well, where's this BKB? Where is the protection? They snowball down, and they're just running away. So yes, you already used the BKB. They relocate him back to try and regenerate up quickly. But in the meantime, the rest of the creep wave, as well as I say the wave of it, one, two, three, rolls over Vineski, and Brussel back is down. You're gonna come back with a relocate. It's a triple kill for Ben. They move away. In fact, actually, it's gonna be a double kill for Jules. The Rupture as well as the uh, the Blood Ride did some work. They got the Darks here and the Dazzle, but you got Yamate and Ben still on the front lines. These guys are more than enough to finish the job. I don't even have these. That's too late, they smoked up. Have a shot. If you don't recognize the, the brands instantly, you'll definitely recognize them later on. PL, well there's your BKB out from the Bristle back. It's a very low duration, remember this. So they managed to burn the BKB at the Bristle. And that means Ben just turns around, throw up more lances, and burn up as much mana as possible. Getting the stuns definitely helps out as well. And they just rush themselves in on top of the Brussels pack. The Wisp trying to keep them alive, but then it's just a different target. The Crimson Guard, as well as the Snowball, it's all about the protection. But they just keep land spamming them. 
Lance, Lightning, Blink Stun, Mana Burn, everything starts to look cool down here from 1, 2, 3. Yep, and it's, it's no heavy commitment either, so big ultimate. There goes Cuckoo, just slowly whittled away. Oh, it's gonna go down as well. This means your bottom racks are practically lost. And the Wisp, we try to relocate save, but it was ineffective. They even bring the Bloodseeker up in towards the air. He'll hit the ground. The BKB will protect them, but it's only allowed Jules to walk back to base. The Wisp is not lucky to do so. And that is it. GG. 1, 2, 3 will knock Maneski down to the lower part of the bracket. And will advance forward to play up against the winner of the Arcanist and First Departure game. Which I believe is scheduled for later on in the week. Also got more games for all the details. Go to joinedo.com and make sure you sign yourself up for the Join the League. You still have a couple of days to do so. I think it's about 10 days. You can sign yourself up. So get your team over to joinedo.com. You can sign yourself up. We have American, Southeast Asia, as well as European divisions.